And this is where the environmental movement has fallen down. Mm, yeah. Nobody, not a single environmental group, and they're sitting on millions of dollars, has spent any money on critically reviewing the IPCC's work. Mm. Uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't take more than a few months to go through it and realize that it's actually <laughs> extremely poor science, badly put together, that it obviously distorts I mean, if you go first, you go to the the working group reports. That's where the science is actually done. Then you see how it filters through the chairpersons of each working group to the final report, and all of the uncertainty, any criticisms, any dissent is filtered out. And that's what was happening before. And the same system is operating, and they choose the the chairs of each working group very carefully. These are government appointees. And the secretariat is very clever. They know what message they need to put out there in order to have influence with the policymakers. Mm. And so you have this dance between the pseudoscientists in charge of these committees and the policymakers. Now, you think, well, that's hardly a major consortium of, of, of interest, but riding on the policy are billions and billions and billions of investment. Hmm. If Copenhagen had gone through, the carbon trading business, which is currently running at about $120 billion internationally, would go to $2 trillion internationally. You're kidding. You're kidding. $2 trillion. Oh, God. And that is a huge amount of business and if you look at the, the, the typical carbon trading, for example, and these are figures produced by a Sunday Times journalist a few months back, I could go and um, buy carbon credits in Indonesia, or the Philippines, it was the case, by if I pay a farmer there to put in a gas digester in his pig farm, so let's assume he's producing 10,000 tons of methane or carbon in the methane each year. You pay him $2 a ton, which is roughly what it will cost to put in a digester. So you pay, you're spending $20,000. He gets the digester. Carbon is reduced. Carbon emissions are reduced in the Philippines, $2 a ton. The person who's done that then who's, a, who's a part of a, a system of brokerage, then sells that to uh, the second in the line, the brokerage, at $10 a ton. And that's some kind of bank. They then sell it in, to industry here at $15 a ton. Now, the roughly the going price for reducing emissions in the West is about $50 to $100 a ton. So it's a no-brainer. Rather than reduce your emissions here, you will buy the credits at $15 a ton. You've saved an enormous amount of money. Mm. Meanwhile, who has made that money? The brokers and the banks. Hmm. And guess who one of the main banks is and one of the main brokerages is? Well, uh, Al Gore oh. setting it up in you know way before he put the film out. Of course, of course. And, and, he's and then you have the... Oh, sorry. I just I wanted to have... interject there that yeah. he's also behind the uh, even the software the companies are developing the, the software, the infrastructure uh, that supposedly is is going to monitor uh, the yeah. levels of carbon dioxide as well. Uh, Hara Software, Absolutely. I think it's called, uh, yeah. or something like that. And, and this is this is why the, the, the most interesting thing, um, Henrik, in this this particular saga for me at this time is that. First of all, the IPCC's report is full of holes. And I've, I've warned the environmental groups about that. They don't want to know. I've never had a single invitation from any environmental group to speak. Hmm. Um, nobody has reviewed my report, my, my, my book. 